Hi guys, it's Yolanda and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting with the beautiful Aisha! <laughs> if you guys do not know Aisha, where you been? Aisha <laughs> and Life is her, the name of her blog. And on YouTube, are you still Aisha on YouTube? No, I'm Aisha? still my fro and ITV, but I am working on changing that. But yeah, my fro and ITV, you can catch me on my fro and ITV. Yep, I will link her channel down below. We are doing collabs today. Aisha is actually the first person I ever collab with. Really? Yep, years ago. Which was it? <laughs> Like yeah. the struggles of a real YouTuber, you know? <laughs> So came to editing and the video was messed up. Honestly, the sound, the lighting, the background noise, it was horrible. And I was really, really bad. I didn't even, I couldn't have the guts to actually email Ash and be like, actually, I couldn't do this. <laughs> I went back to Cape Town and just kept quiet. And then I moved up here and then, you know, ran into her and then I like, man. And I was like, what happened to her? <laughs> video with someone like for a while and yeah I was just like let's do it let's do a retail just, just do I don't know something new yep so here we are and today we are talking about three big things on my giveaway video I asked you guys to give me your hair struggles and the three main things that came out was dryness breakage and knots now Aisha you can probably say the same on your side. I mean, your readers do come back with the same struggles. Dryness, like dryness, dryness. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's real. I mean, we all, I think we all battle with that, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I think it's also just the nature of our hair. Exactly. Natural hair it's is just really dry. dry. That's yeah. really, very really true. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be talking about. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want more collabs from us. <laughs> and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Cool. So actually, what's the first thing you tell anyone who tells you, you know, they've got dry hair, what now? Okay. Um, first thing, you're not the only one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, that's just... Strong. Yeah, it's natural hair. It's going to be like it's naturally drier than um, straighter hair or wavier hair. Um, so what I ask is, okay, if your hair is dry, then the opposite of that is moisture. So how often do you um, wash your hair? How often do you spray your hair with water? I mean, water is you know the the best moisturizer. It's like the only moisturizer anyway. Yep. So I think a lot of women are really scared of water because you know shrinkage things like that oh yeah you but know? you could always you could always like plait your hair yeah, to exactly. i mean there's a lot of ways of manipulating yeah. your hair to get it back keeping your hair straight but you need moisture first yeah moisture i'd rather moisture. have moisture and shrinkage at the yeah. same time for the sake of moisture yeah so spritzing your hair you do often i know yeah. you also use aloe vera yeah i put um you know i have like a whole daily spritz um and uh, i just make it on my own I put water, aloe vera juice, um, a couple of oils, and a bit of conditioner in it. But I mean, the the main thing is water. If your hair can't tolerate, you know, conditioner or oils or whatever, just water. make sure that you. I mean, it's like our bodies. We need water, you know. Otherwise, and our skin, you know, we need water. So otherwise, our skin's going to be dry, you know, that kind of. I mean, you need to treat it the same way. Yeah. So that's that's what I would say. Going back to our skin and just like our face, we wash our face every day, right? Yes. Can we wash our hair every week? At least, okay, minimum once every two weeks. Once every two weeks is yeah. decent. That's, that's yeah. decent, but that's also adding back that yes. moisture. Yeah. And then for long term, what I do to make sure that my hair is moisturized throughout the week, the first thing is deep conditioning. Yeah, Before packing any other you yes. know, products, obviously the water being the wash day, and then the deep conditioner, and thereafter, obviously, my LOC method, which is my leave yep, my oil, too. and my cream. Yep. And that makes sure that my hair is supple, mm -hmm. it's got moisture, and it's got all that it needs to go through the week. <laughs> you know, and people just don't have the time to do it. I know we're busy bodies, but at the same time, just like you, you can't go out there with a dry face, can you? Right? Or like ashy feet. Like ashy like hands. hands. You know what I mean? You, we're constantly <laughs> going back to our hand cream. Yay. Going to moisture. So the same goes with your hair. Exactly. And there's no problem in going back four times. I used to have to go back twice. 
my first winter here. Yeah. A day. Yeah. Moisturizing. And it used yeah. to annoy me. Yeah. But my hair could not handle the dryness, mm. the elements, the air, the, the, the wind. I mean, if all of those things actually strip out that very moisture that we had. Especially Joburg. I yes. feel like Joburg is just so yep. dry. That was me last year. I had to so go back. And if I have to do it twice a day, you gotta do it. Yeah. That's right. Okay. He's happy now. <laughs> even me, when I first bit chopped, mm -hmm. um, I would spritz my hair. And even still, sometimes when I feel like it needs that extra sort of moisture boost, I spritz my hair once um, in the mornings and then another time in the evenings before I go to sleep. Yep. And the longer, the long term benefit to that is growth. Definitely. Girl, you cut your hair yesterday, and look at your hair. <laughs> it wasn't yesterday, but like our natural. 4C, 4 type hair, we've got to moisturize. It's so key to yeah. aid in, you know, combating dryness and yeah. also combating hair breakage. Yes. It goes back to the one theme that you guys have been saying, my hair is breaking. Yeah. Well, is it moisturized? Is it moisturized? Yeah. Because when it's dry, it's much more fragile mm -hmm. in terms of like breakage. It's you know, oh, it's literally like the next thing. Yeah. What must happen? It, it lacks that elasticity that you can only really get when your hair is moisturized. Exactly. So if it doesn't have that elasticity, then it's just gonna snap. Yep. You know. So that's probably what, not the only reason why, but it could be a big reason why your hair is breaking. Correct. Yeah. The other thing on breakage that I find is well, for me, if I do too many, just you know, my hairline problem. Yes. Your body knows my hairline problem. I've got a very weak hairline, so yeah. it breaks, it snaps yeah. if I do over manipulation on my hair, if I braid it too much. But the same goes with my ends. If I actually, if I had to do protective hairstyle the whole of winter, for instance, if I had to braid my hair every single month, my hair would break. Yeah. My hair can't take, I, I don't know why, I don't know, why it's just the way my hair is. <laughs> um, but it breaks. I yeah. find that maybe it's prolonged dryness as well. Yes. With the protective hairstyle, yes. I don't condition my hair with that in you know it just breaks but you know now that you've mentioned it actually like even like when when people have a weave or braids in or something they all of a sudden kind of like forget about their hair yes so they don't think they need to shampoo it's like oh but i've got braids and i can't shampoo because it'll take too long to dry or whatever but it's like yeah but your hair is suffering under yep. your hair. and then when they remove all of that there's so much breakage yes. and it's like but why yeah. i protected you for yeah. Three The sebum that we produce in our scalp is not enough to get from root to tip. Yes. So, and, and when you wear your hair out, which obviously I do a lot, I need the moisture. And I try, thankfully, my hair is not here on my shoulders. If it was, that rubbing could cause more dryness, yeah. could cause more breakage. Yeah. So I always try and put it up now that it's a little longer. Yeah. Um, but even if it does get to this point, you'll see me putting it up mm. with, with uh, bobby pins to for less tension and that kind of thing again to decrease the chances of breakage and that kind yeah. of thing. So I would definitely advise that moisture being the first thing. And if you've got relaxed hair, balance that with protein. Mm. I always found that when I was relaxed, it was much even even worse. Like breakage was a norm. Yeah, yeah. And seeing those little hairs on my basin was just a norm. But whenever I went back with a protein deep conditioner. And balance that with moisture. My hair was good. Even with natural hair, right? Hey? Mm. Yeah, you do that balance, you know, especially with like the protein, um, deep conditioners. Mm -hmm. um, do you do it often, often on yours? Um, well, what's often? Um, I'd say maybe every other deep conditioning session. That that's I do. exactly. That's yeah. often. See, I used to do that as a as a relax goal. Yeah. Every second week, I yes. had to alternate my protein and moisture. Yeah. Now I find that it gets harder. Mm. My hair is actually saying, listen, it gets too resistant if I use too much. Too much protein. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I need to balance Once it. a month is fine, exactly. But it's all about your hair. Again, yeah. it's all about you testing, trial and error, finding what works for you. Mm. But your hair needs, it can only be strong with those two balances, you know, moisture and protein, given that it's made of protein. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Going back from dryness to breakage, a lot of people also struggle with knots. Okay. And then knots. Yeah. <laughs> It is a natural struggle. I didn't actually struggle with knots when I was a newbie natural. Yes. I suppose it was shorter. I was going to say, know. yeah. The shorter your hair, the less likely you're going to get knots. Mm. But when you get long, like, yo, right now, right? You don't want to know. Yes. I am like, is this normal? Yes. It's it, very is normal. it? Okay. Yeah. Um, it's normal. And then also because 
like you know with the with our hair texture you know being 4c and you know kinky and all of that it, i mean our hair it's, does like it's coiled it's like it's almost impossible you not know? to go right yeah so obviously they're growing and they're like the different directions and everything that causes knots so i mean the best way to obviously like um first of all um how uh, what i say to my followers is try and avoid or rather lessen the likelihood of your hair knotting. So what I used to do, I still do it now, but when I when my hair was longer, because yeah, as you know, when the hair is long, it's it's even worse. Yes. Um, uh, what I used to do was I kept my hair stretched. So uh, yeah, so as to keep the strand, yes. sort, sort of separated exactly, and not not like that, and not like sort of like yeah. all. So you know, the the more stretched it is, the less likely it is to, it's going yeah. to do that yeah, with each other. True. So I would keep my hair stretched, um, and then I would also detangle, like make sure that I detangle, you know, on my wash day. And um, so once it's I detangle my hair, natural. then it's done. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So you'd use conditioner? When, yeah. when in your wash day would you actually do it? So um, I would wash my hair normally, whether it's a co-wash or shampoo. Mm -hmm. And then I would like slather my hair with my deep conditioner. I made sure that I used a conditioner with what they call green slip. Mm -hmm. You know, and yes. I'd put that in my hair. And then I would use my fingers first yes. to like go through my hair. I'd start from the end and then work my way up to my roots. And just make sure that I like take out any like knots that I feel, and then I would run my comb through it. Okay. And wide tooth comb. Yeah. You know, from Key. the bottom. Don't upwards. be using that fine tooth comb. <laughs> no, it's not your friend. No, it's that's gonna go in more breakage. <laughs> and it's painful. It is. It's it really is. painful. So for me, I'd like throw those combs away. Mm. I just have wide tooth combs in my home. Yeah. So that's what I would okay. do. Okay. Like. So I'm at a point where I have to do it at an ad hoc basis. Yeah. What do you but think? Like, yeah. It's I don't know. I, I don't I haven't found like the perfect routine yet, so I do it on my wash day. But in the middle of the week, given that my hairstyles keep changing, I've been experimenting. Yes. That's obviously why it's right, right, right. more and it's tangling more and it's gotten to a point where I've got a slap on conditioner at points where I'm just like, I can't do this hairstyle with you guys being mm -hmm. matted over here. So I do that and then just separate it. Conditioner, thankfully, again, I use yes. Garnier. I don't know if you've, ever, if you've seen the Garnier Honey Treasures and the Avocado. They've got this whole new range now. Yeah. Uh, hair type. It's really good. Got great slip and it doesn't leave like that whole white residue as well. Just a little bit of it. And I just separate my hair with my hands as well. If I do need help, a white tooth comb. Yeah. And I'm good to go. Yeah. Um, and people sort of make that a mission. It's not really a biggie if I'm spending two minutes of my time the night before I braid up my hair knowing that I'm going to do a specific hairstyle the next day. Yeah. Um, and the next day I'm good. Mm. You know, the worst is to be sitting at work playing with your hair and then you find a knot and all of a sudden you see that little scissor and you tend to just, you know, no! Do people do I that? have seen that, yes! What, just like snip off yeah. knots? Ooh. I have seen that, I have been tempted to. You get to a point where your hair is at this point, but it's because you've been prolonging the process. People just don't have the time. But then your hair's not gonna grow. No, it's a little patch, Nyana. It's but just then a it's little, like here, here, right? here, here. It's, I have seen that, okay? I have witnessed that. I've been tempted to, yeah. because it's easier. In your head, you're thinking, listen, it's just gonna take one second. Oh, versus no. two minutes that I need to spend trying to separate the hair. Um, but no. Please do not do that. Yeah, do not be tempted. Just slap on some conditioner, separate the hair with your hands, yes. and you're good to go. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Don't cut it. No. <laughs> no. Unless like you really don't mind, but a lot, I know a lot of people, a lot of women out there, you're trying to grow your hair, but mm -hmm. cutting it like no. at, like mm, ad hoc like that is not gonna work. Nah. The other tip would be to trim. If you see that you know you've got knots throughout your hair and it's all right on top, like those little knots that like split end kind of. Knots. Correct, and your hair's just knotting because it hasn't had a trim in a year, yeah. and it actually just needs that that last brush off mm. so that your hair's level firstly, and all the hairs can finally be free. Yeah. You know, um, maybe it's time for a trim. Yeah. There's no problem in that. You're losing mm. a little bit of length, but for the benefit of healthy looking hair. No, that's such a great point because, um, yeah, again, when we're on our quest to like grow our hair, we're thinking we have to hang on to every single strand, every 
single centimeter, but then, you know, that extra centimeter, like you're saying, could be so detrimental for the yep. rest of your hair. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just... I, I'm i not scared of, you know... No. Can't we are, we're not our hair. I think that's what people cannot separate that. Yeah. It's like, when I cut the relaxed hair, mm. I are know. You and like, are you were like, are you what mad? Are you Guys, I'm <laughs> embracing something that's already mine, and going into a new journey is it's just that. It's a journey. Aren't they taking it back now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. Now I'm just like, how? Yeah. You just have done this yeah. Yeah. Like, wait, yeah. but like, yeah. you know, it's a journey. <laughs> and if I decide to chop it off tomorrow, it doesn't stop you from taking care of it and, and making that a journey as well. Mm. Any journey is full of speed bumps, it's full of pit stops, it's full of everything. So enjoy it, you know. Yeah. And now that you've got this hairstyle, you can give us tips on how to take care of this. Yeah, and it's, it's beautiful, right? Thank you. You I'm enjoy lovely. it, I'm we lovely. enjoy it, and, and that's the beauty of every journey. So a trauma my eyeball, come on. Yeah, it's a, it's a necessity. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Thank you for inviting me. I'm it's sure fun. I loved it. I just, I just know it. <laughs> Thanks for your 5, 10, 15 cents on all of those topics. I know that it's going to help a ton of people. I hope so. I, I really do. And yeah. yeah, we shall be doing the same video, well, a similar video. Yes. On Aisha's channel. Please do check it out. I will link that also in the description box. Again, just, you know, show more. Click show more and you will <laughs> see all of them links down there. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks again, Aisha, for joining us. Thank you. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you did like it. Comment down below if you guys would like to see any more of these videos, collabs, struggles, what other thing you're struggling with, any questions, you know, just let us know in the comment box. <laughs> and of course, do not forget to subscribe if you really have it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>